Hi everyone, it's Erin from EB Mixed Media, and I am back working in my cheap notebook um, gra uh, graph paper journal. I only have two pages left in this journal, and as you can see, it's super, super chunky. So once I get it done, I will do a flip through. Um, today, I was thinking, I was really kind of inspired by this um, piece of paper. I don't even know what to call this. I was doing a gel printing session, and... I think this might have been some under paper and then I was trying to get my plate cleaned off and I used it and then I thought well that's kind of pretty and then I added a few more things and so so it was kind of under paper that got gel printed um, but I think it's really pretty it's kind of summery isn't it and maybe it's a beautiful fall day in Maine I don't know why I'm feeling summery but I just thought it was really pretty and I wanted to play with it so I'm gonna use that and then I was thinking that this floral that I have here kind of matches it. So I might try to incorporate this. So if you're interested in learning how to make this floral, I have just launched, as some of you may know, a Teachable website. And I have a free class right now with 11 lessons. It's called Fabulous Florals. Uh, and there are 11 different lessons in watercolor paint and using papers to make florals. Um, a lot of the lessons are have already been put out there. They've either been... Uh, YouTube videos, um, I developed them for something else like Messy May, or I put a reel up. There are a few new lessons, but rather than having to dig around and try and find all the lessons, some of my florals are buried within like doing a journal page. I pulled everything out and put them all together in one spot for you. So if you're interested, check it out. It is free. It won't be free forever, but it's free right now. And you can learn how to make some of these florals, this one included. All right, so let's get started. So I think I'm just gonna start by tearing this and figuring out how I wanna put it on the page. And I might just do something like that. We'll just start with that. I might get some book pages or something in here too. I'm just using a glue stick to put this down. You can use matte medium, but um, you then you have to dry it and I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just gonna use my glue stick. It's a little awkward working in this journal now because it's so bulky. And do I want that whole thing? I don't know if I want the whole thing. I just want some of it. No, I'm gonna do maybe like that. Yeah, we'll do that. So yeah, I'm really excited to have launched um, Teachable, um, where I'm gonna start giving. I have a classroom there, and I'm gonna start doing classes. Uh, the first one I put up, as I said, was the florals. There is another one already online. Um, I haven't really been promoting it, but there is another class there on making a garden gatefold journal. And I will be putting out more information about that soon, but that's already available if you're interested in that one. Um, okay, do I want to put some book pages or something with this? What do I have? I feel like I want to keep this simple. I don't have a lot of time today, so I kind of want to just keep moving. And not stress over this. Keep it simple, stupid, right? <laughs> That's kind of fun for some reason. I'm just going to put a few of these little papers down as well just to add some depth and interest to our background.
So let's see, today is Thursday. It is the 16th of November. And that means a week from today in the United States is Thanksgiving. And that is a pretty big holiday for most Americans. Um, some would say it's bigger than Christmas. <laughs> It wasn't that way at my house growing up, but I know for some people, for my husband's family, Thanksgiving was always a really big deal. Um, but yeah, so everybody's, I don't know, it's starting to feel festive, I think, already. I, there seemed to be a buzz at the office yesterday, and um, I think a lot of people are going to be taking off early and getting the festivities started early. <laughs> um, so if you're not from the United States, I encourage you, at least once in your life, to find an American friend, put it on your bucket list to celebrate at least one Thanksgiving in your lifetime, because the food is fabulous, and it is just kind of a fun, the whole holiday is just eating, <laughs> eating and family, and by the end of it, you're sick from eating, and you're sick of your family, pretty much, <laughs> at least that's the joke, like in all the movies and stuff, but um no, so we're gonna have a small Thanksgiving. It's just gonna be me and my husband and my two boys. Um, I think my one son is gonna be bringing his girlfriend. So that'll be fun. And um, it's kind of funny at my house, um, and he told his girlfriend this. He's like, we, uh, we set the table, it's super fancy, it's the good crystal, it's the good china, but we all wear pajamas. So he instructed her to bring her pajamas and um, join us. And that is pretty much what we do. <laughs> we get up in the morning and we start cooking and we watch the dog show. And um, while we're cooking, we watch the parade and uh, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And we um, usually for lunch around noon, maybe we'll have just some cheese and crackers or little charcuterie board or something like that just to tide us over and then we usually sit down to eat around I don't know two or three or something um and we eat and eat and eat and then we all kind of go our separate ways and recuperate and then we get back together again <laughs> and play a game or something and um eat leftovers and then the next morning, which is arguably one of the best parts of Thanksgiving, and you can agree or disagree with me in the comments, is breakfast pie. Nice cold slice of pumpkin pie. One of my favorites. Okay, I'm going to dry this. I would be curious to know about your Thanksgiving plans, and I'd be curious if you're not an American, uh, what your impression is of Thanksgiving, or if you've ever had an opportunity to attend a Thanksgiving event. I'd love to hear about it. All right, I'm gonna dry this real quick. So there is some gold in this um, background paper, and I wanna kind of bring that out, and I'm feeling like I want some texture too. So I've got some modeling paste here. I've got my gold um, acrylic, paint acrylic ink actually and um I think I'm gonna try and mix this and see if I can get you know a gold shimmer in this modeling paste let's see if we can make this work oh that might have been too much we'll see might not work the way I'd hoped, but we'll see. No, I don't know. It's just looking kind of like putty. <laughs> hmm. I thought I was getting excited for a minute, and then do I just need more? Do you guys ever watch my videos and say, why doesn't she test stuff before she does it on a video <laughs> to see if it's going to work? I think this is just going to, I don't like, it kind of feels like it's getting there, but no, I don't think it is. Okay. Well, we're just going to go with this and then 
see what happens. Okay. Okay. So this was the stencil I used when I was doing the gel plate. This is from Stencil Girl and um, the very lovely VT Veggie Girl, Gail Clausen uh, on Instagram gifted this to me out of the blue. It was such a lovely gesture. So let's try this and see what happens. I'm going to put it on. Maybe I shouldn't have. Uh... No, wait, I don't want to do that. What am I doing? I'm not stenciling. I'm doing it this way. With this palette knife, which I actually don't like this palette knife. Let's see. Did I just wreck this? I don't know. All right. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Okay, so I'm rethinking this. I think what I didn't like about that was this stencil is way too big. So I've found this much more delicate stencil that I like. And I'm gonna try that and see how it does. Um, because there is, when I'm looking at this on the paper over here, there is a really nice shimmer to it. And so I think when it dries, it could be really pretty. So I'm just going to do a little bit of it. We can always fix it later. What was I saying about keeping it simple? I don't want to mix any more up, so I got to make this work here. That's okay. That, it was just so much of that color. I'm wondering if when I dry it, if it's going to look more gold. Let's just see what happens. So that didn't really work out the way I'd hoped where I had, a, where it really is a shimmer. It's, it, it is a little bit, but not really. Not really. Well, it was a good test, right? I mean, this you can sort of see it here. So I'm wondering if I could maybe just to um, jack up that glamour factor. I could try putting this right back over the top of it. And going over it with my gold. There we go. You probably, maybe you could have done that without adding this color to the modeling paste, but I don't know. I think you would have had the white showing. So this way, it almost gives the impression that the whole thing is, is gold and glittery. The trick is just getting it back on where it was, right? not exactly what I envisioned, but it works for me. Was that this one? Or no, I think I did this. No. Yeah, that gives it a little more gold factor. All right, now I think I want to just do just maybe some
little excess here. Just add a little more subtle texture. I like that. I don't know, I just feel like I want something down here. For some reason. I think I'm going to do some splatters, maybe. Just in some white. Oh, I got that all over my face. I feel like it's getting done. I I feel like I just want more texture. I can't think of enough texture today. Let me see. I bought this ribbon for um, a journal cover, but ooh, that's pretty cute, isn't it? I'm doing it. Okay, I have a little piece of washi tape that I made uh, during Tiffany uh, Sharp's Fodder School lesson. And I'm gonna just embellish this a tad. Okay, and we'll just wet the back of that and put that on. We'll put that here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe there. Okay. And then I'm going to try to go ahead and put this on with the glue stick. I think that'll work. We'll see. I think a gel medium would work as well, but that seems to be sticking. Okay. And then I'm gonna add my floral. No, we're doing it here. <laughs> I always seem to put things on that side, so I thought and I actually, this is my least favorite part of the page up here where there's all this green. So I thought we would just put that up there. My hands are covered in glue and paint. So I've got some deli paper here. There we go. And let's pull out some sentiments. I've got these white ones that I think are pretty with the gold. How about good things are going to happen? Where do we want that to go? Here? I think it'll stay there. One thing that bothers me is like good things are going to happen tracksuit if it costs. Just gonna get just to sort of make it clear that that's not 
part of this, right? <laughs> Let's do this. Does that help? Maybe. There we go. Good things are going to happen. That's it for me today. That was quick, pretty simple. Um, nice little experiment there with the modeling paste or texture paste, but we made it work. Um, again, if you're interested in learning how to make these flowers, you can find them on my new class on Teachable, which is currently free. It's called Fabulous Florals. There's a link um, below in the description if you're interested. And other than that, you can also find me on Instagram at EB Mixed Media. That's EB underscore Mixed Media. I hope you all have a great day and good weekend, and we will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.